I'm Muriel Gray. I'm one of the trustees on the board of British Museum. I think my foray into public appointment started at a very early age. In my 20s, I was appointed rector of Edinburgh University, which is not, it's not a government appointment, but it's, it's a higher education one. But nevertheless, it's the same principle. I chaired the court of Edinburgh University in my, in my mid-20s, which was to say being thrown at the deep end would be uh, a bit of an understatement. You pick up more and more diverse experience but of what it's like to be on a board, so it, I've been years at it. Public appointed boards are so important. There's a number of reasons. One is accountability and transparency. You get a real diverse, or hopefully, a diverse section of people from public life who are independent to the institution that they're representing, who can really keep it on track, hopefully. That's their job. Trustees of the British Museum are basically responsible for the protection of the museum and all its contents. Um, they're responsible for the strategy, um, for the vision and obviously for the fiscal security of the museum and the well-being of course of all its staff and visitors. The thing about accepting a, a, a public appointment is that it is time consuming and if anyone says oh go on please join it's not going to take that much of your time you have to come to a couple of meetings and go to a few dinners it's rubbish because not only is it time consuming in terms of what you have to attend when you're not even physically here you are still being an advocate, you have to think, live and breathe it. Which is why I say to anybody who's considering a public appointment, make sure that the thing that you're applying for is something that really, really ignites your passion. This is particularly acute with women who might be the primary carers for children. Our daughter's severely disabled and I'm the primary carer for her and she has 24-7 care. So even to get away, to come down for a board meeting, which I'm here for today, is a military operation. Um, uh, but that hasn't stopped me because, again, the, the interests of people like her and families like her and everything in the entire culture of our country, I feel, rests on people who do make the effort to try and give their time to something to me is important. Diversity means a different point of view. It means a different point of view from personal capacity so they know what it's like to live in those shoes um, so that they can make sure a board does not live in a bubble. But you can make a really big effort to bring together experienced people from very, very different backgrounds and very different experiences so they can add their voice to that mix. Getting to the point in your life where you're able to be uh, on a board that's a serious one, proper public appointment, sometimes takes quite a long time. You can begin that thought process in your head by actually recognising your importance as a good citizen. So I'm not being overly romantic about it, but it's a really, really important part of your life is to make sure that you can, if you talk about society, is to be part of what that society looks like. That to me is the biggest part of inclusiveness, which is why I think diversity is important. But I think inclusiveness means being part of forming society that you and your children and your grandchildren are going to be part of. And to me, public service duty in the form of public appointments on a board is a really major part of that.